Hey, what is happening people? Welcome back to the channel. TJHD here back with another awesome video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the steps that you can take to make an older Android phone run a bit faster. Even though for the purpose of this video, we're just using Galaxy S4, but you can still find all of these options and steps in every kind of Android phone out there. You just need to do the digging part yourself. Let's get right into it. The first step would be the amount of widgets and the apps that you currently have should be exactly what you need. You do not need to have something extra on your phone. It'll just take up some space and memory, which is the main reason that the phone slows down. It would also include the apps that are there by default that you cannot delete. However, you can disable them. Please make sure that you do disable them. It will take up the memory for no reason otherwise. Step two would be make sure that you keep destroying all the apps that are used in the background. Or better yet, get into developer's mode that we will be talking about shortly and put a limit to the number of activities happening in the background. Or just change the setting to no background activities at all, which will for sure free some of the memory space that will run your phone more smoothly. Next step has everything to do with the developer's options that we were talking about earlier. Android developers have set some standards for every basic activity after doing their testing process. For instance, the window opening or closing animation and it's time. But after you use the phone for quite some time and having all these junk apps, pictures and videos that you never want to delete because you're just lazy or what else. These basic standards are really hard to keep up with. But come on, it's Android. You can always change everything according to your likings. To access developer's mode, it's really easy. You don't have to meditate, go to university, kill a unicorn or nothing crazy like that. All you need to do is just go down to about device section and look for build number option and tap it 7 to 11 times depending on what kind of device do you carry. This should allow you to have access to the developer's option. Once you are in it, you can go down to drawing option. This is where all the app windows default time is set for whatever it is for closing or opening, which also takes some of your device's memory. You can play around with it to find out how it would affect the smoothness of your device. I would set it off to be no animation, but you can do it according to whatever your interests are. That wraps up the video. If you guys have any recommended steps like this video, please leave them in the comment section down below. And check out my other videos. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.